Welcome back to the broadcast. All right, there are some amazing products on this table, all from the new collection designed by Michael Aram. And he's appearing at Neiman Marcus Willow Bend this afternoon, and you have a chance to meet him. But he's here right now. Welcome, Michael. Thank you so much, Don. It's okay. such a pleasure being here. What these, a great way to kick off the day. These pieces are beautiful. They're Thank so you. amazing. Um, tell me a little bit about this collection. Well, this is actually um, a sort of unusual collection for me because it's a retrospective collection of some of my favorite work of the last 25 years. This year marks our, our big anniversary, so we've done some things that are a little unusual and special for us and our brand. Okay. Um, we've created some large-scale sculpture pieces, which will be on exhibition at Willow Bend tonight, mm -hmm. a limited edition of 12 large sculpture pieces. But some of these are part of what we call um, a commemorative collection. So I've dipped back into the archives of the last 25 years oh, wow. and picked some of the pieces uh, which were my earliest or my you know, sort of favorites from that period. For example, we have a, a, a fun cheese board here. So cute, it's got little mice it, on the bottom of it. I love it's, it. It's called the mouse and cheese board. And you know, a lot of my early work was very narrative. I like mm -hmm. telling stories in oh, my work. So here is the story of the mouse that's stealing the piece of cheese <laughs> while that cat is just watching him do it. Cute. And then the mice are scurrying, scurrying underneath, uh, you know, watching the whole scene. So it's sort of fun. And, and yeah, look at this one on, so I, a tub, right? Is that what we'd call this? Yeah, and look at the tongs. It's, it's, it's got a, hands on it. It's a nice bucket. You know, I like to reference um, you know, a little bit of mythology, a little bit of, again, stories. So it was called the Dionysian ice bucket oh, with the wow. three feet as if you were stomping on the grapes for the wine. And this here is the hands ice tongs. So I love the cold it. hands grab the ice and, uh, and help you out there. So cute. Uh, this was my first ever photo frame. You know, our collection today is, is very vast. And, you know, we have over 500 stores in the United States, and we sell over 50 countries around the world. Wow. But, you know, it's fun to sort of look at the beginnings mm -hmm. of our work. This is the first ever photo frame I made, and it's called the Key to My Heart. Look at so, that. Uh, the heart with a little notch for the key. Just, again, very charming, Beautiful. very romantic with the little keys as the kickstands there. That would make such a great gift for someone. Uh, I would absolutely, love something like absolutely. that. Absolutely. And this actually was the first piece I ever made, which was just a, a shoehorn. A practical one, because <laughs> then you're not having to bend all the way well, down, right? Well, the first right? one was actually a short one. Oh, now I'm getting this. older. So That's we, smart. We, we, and we then this is beautiful, too. Look at yeah, the this flowers is, this on is, it. This is a collection that's actually um, exclusive to Neiman Marcus. It's okay. called the Gold Orchid Collection. Oh. And this is not part of the retrospective. This is a, a contemporary piece that I make. But you know, it's all hand hammered stainless steel. Mm. So very practical. You can put anything in it. You know, salad dressing won't affect it. Okay. You know, you can leave things in there overnight without having to worry about it. And then bronze oxidized mm. uh, orchid stems with gold orchid flowers. So just, just a way, you know, it's a way to it's a way to serve things beautifully in your home, mm -hmm. but also be able to leave things out as uh, decor items also. So. They are beautiful and they could totally serve that purpose. And tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started well, and what the inspiration was to go from sculpting and fine art to doing something yes, like well, this. Well, you know, I trained as, a, as an artist and sculptor and uh, was living in New York City and um, took a trip to India in 1988. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, discovered this incredible world of, of handicrafts and started working along some, uh, alongside some of the artisans that I met, uh, you know, while I was there. And really, sort of, you know, took my fine art background and, and dedicated it to what I call craft-based design. That's so, beautiful. you know, my work is really based on, on my vision as a as an artist, mm -hmm. but working, you know, within the, um, you know, the, the scope of of handicraft. So, you know, for me, an important ethic is the, the handmade quality. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, when people live with handmade objects, you know, there's a reverberation, a soulfulness, a, a feeling of of specialness that mm -hmm. you get, uh, even sometimes sub subconsciously, just by holding a piece and understanding that it feels different from other things you might find. I love it. And like with these pieces, what about a price point on some of these? Because yeah, uh, we were talking, it sounds like they're affordable. Something they, very, you actually, can have in your actually, home that's absolutely. affordable it's, but beautiful. It's, it's, it's what we call sort of affordable art. So, you know, prices range from, you know, $79 mm -hmm. to 59 to maybe $250. So definitely within the range of, sure. uh, of affordability. You know, I've always, I've always considered that an important part. You know, even if we have a $10,000 sculpture piece, it's wonderful for someone to be able to afford something for, you know, $50 if, sure. if they're a fan of my work. It's great. Well, you know you can see all of these beautiful items today and meet Michael at Neiman Marcus Willow Bend in Plano from 2 until 5. You don't want to miss it, okay?